Hey what's up YouTube, it's me Shigrana and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we'll mark the day where we'll be releasing a very scuffed uh, advanced key binding guide. This is not going to be all comprehensive, I'm not going to talk about all of the ins and outs on how to properly key bind. I'm just here to share some tips and tricks that I thought of on how to kind of increase the number of key binds you have some things that you might not know and that not many I think know so this is why I'm here today and making this video because I don't really uh, have that much time on my hands due to preparing for World for 60 in Shadowlands I will assume that this video is going to be scuffed because I haven't looked at this trick myself in like let's say whenever I got the beta <laughs> Because I couldn't use this trick myself, because I like for things to be organized and just the right way. And uh, I didn't have the action bar add on for me to have more action bar slots. And I know you can use bind pads, but I like to have things on my action bars to see them. And um, as you can see, I'm like running out of space here. And for me to, so I wanted to. To, do, to introduce this again once I had the action by add-on, which I will do later after this video. But part of me making this video is just because I'm going to re-add this to what I was originally doing before the beta started, right? So let me get into this. I hope I still remember how this works. So, but before we go, actually, I have an announcement. If I don't get World First 60, I'm gonna go bored. Yeah, that's right. You heard it here first, man. That's official, and I might have some really interesting news to share in the future. I will keep you up to date on that. Um, but yeah, World for 60 or bald. So uh, with that said, I guess let's get into the keybinding, advanced keybinding guide, as scuffed as it's going to be. Um, so problem that a lot of people have is they run out of keybinds, and specifically good keybinds. So actually, let me turn on my cam. There we go, here I am. And um, key to having more keybinds available to you is using Shift, Control, and Alt, which you probably know. <laughs> using modifier keys to increase your keybinds using, like, multiplying them. <laughs> Such an advanced keybinder guide. Now that's not the trick in itself. This is relatively basic knowledge. Uh, so for that, I have something like here. There's a keyboard layout you want to see. So if you don't know this, what you should get is a mouse that has buttons on them. So I have like a mouse with like 12 buttons on the side. On the top, there are like two under the scroll wheel. There's one here. You can use the mouse button to press on it. You can go, can bind up and down with modifier keys. So you want to use all of those um, things, obviously. And you might be surprised, like when you look at my, uh, like at this keyboard layout. Um, like I'm pressing, apparently I'm pressing six, but in reality I'm just pressing like a mouse button, it's just mapped to the button 6, because 6 is a button that I would never press manually, so that's why it's uh, mapped as like 6, so for example if I press 2, or like if I press like the second button on my mouse, so that must be some numpad thing because you don't see it at the moment. Uh, so if I press like the third uh, button on my mouse, it's actually 8, 9, that's all numpad. So here, so you can see, I have a shift bound on my uh, mouse here. Um, I accidentally started this. So as you can see, I'm pressing shift, but I'm not actually pressing sh shift on my uh, uh, keyboard. But there's probably going to be a German guide here as well, because I just realized the program that I that you guys need to get for this. Well, um, 
I, you, it's currently on German, so it's going to be kind of like a German guide, like improvise and adapt. So I also have a control bound on my mouse. So what you can see, I still have shift and control. Oh, one second. I need to uh, disable that again. The new PC or laptop. So I still have them bound on my keyboard as well. So and surprise, like this is going to blow your mind. So I'm not pressing anything on my mouse. Like look at this, my, my like my mouse is here. I, I put it away. You can see my hand is here. I'm not pressing anything on my keyboard, and you can see my my other hand is holding like the camera. But like see, I'm pressing Alt. I'm pressing. Apparently, I'm pressing C. I'm pressing Control Alt. St Strg is basically Control in German. So I'm pressing Control and Alt at the same time. I'm pressing. Um, one second. Sorry, I haven't done this in a while. Oh, I have to actually use this. Uh, one second. So you need the program called Padable for this, by the way, uh, to do this. This is not illegal, I think, at least. Um, so as you can see, my hands are both here, and I'm pressing. Apparently, I'm pressing Shift Alt, um, Shift Alt, and Control. So, well, what is going on? Well, what you want to get, like, you don't want to get those teeth. You want to actually have teeth. So you want to have, like, if you look under my table, you want to have gas pellets. Actually, let me turn on the light. Um, you want to have USB gas pellets. So those are two USB gas pellets which each of them having three different like buttons. So that's six buttons and you might think, oh yeah, you have like six more keybinds now. Great trick, streamer. But actually, no, it's much more than that because we have modifier keys bound to them using Padable, as you can tell. This is Padable. So you can have like left, center, right. You can Go into options, select your pedal type, what pedal you have. And then you have like here Umschalt. Umschalt is German for uh, shift. STRG is control. Alt is alt. And you would never press, like you would never do this, right? You would never press shift, uh, shift STRG at the same time. And then on top of it, press like A or something. That is terrible, right? But what if you had a foot that you would never use during gaming and you could press one button and you could press those kind of combinations and on top of it you have hands and I'm pressing two at the same time while pressing just with my foot on a foot pedal and pressing it, right? So look at this. So if you look at my keyboard, I hope you can see this. That's actually... Hope I don't mess up my bars too much here. Uh, I forgot what scale it was. Okay, zero six is accurate. So here, look at this one. I want to move to here real quick. So as you can see, for this I have to use. Uh, actually, you cannot see. For this, I have to use. Uh, for here for this, I have to use uh, the number eight, which I'm doing here by pressing my mouse button. Uh, like something that you would see react. Um, I, I like this kind of like messed up keybinds on this guy, uh, unfortunately. So actually, I have to. I'm just gonna use this as an example. So as you can see, I'm pressing six right now, and it's reacting to it, uh, as you can see. But in reality, I'm not pressing anything on my keyboard. I'm just pressing my mouse button. So if you look down here, I have it so that like going down um, on my action bars, there are like the different versions, like Alt 6, Shift 6, Control 6, like in a very specific order. And then there would be combination like 
control alt 6 that you would normally not use um but obviously with this gas pedal trick those things well aren't really that difficult to press so for example here we have control shift 6 you can see this is control shift 6 and i'm gonna press this now as you can see uh, like i have my hands here and with the other thing i'm just pressing this button and as you can see it lights up down in the bottom and you can do with all the keys so you can basically multiply your fucking good key binds a lot of times um i don't know how exactly it is but i think that there was a time where i had like a spreadsheet with all of the potential key binds that you could have and there were a lot that you can use and there were a lot of good ones um i don't know the exact numbers i have like 500 or 400 in mind but yeah for example you can also like like look at this keybind like you would never press like i'm pressing shift control alt right now would never do that normally um my hands are here and now i can bind this to like this keybind down here like as you can see it says alt control shift and then the mouse button which is six um, not really six, but it's like the mouse button. And it's so easy for me to press. Like I do it with one hand, dude, with one hand. So that's kind of like the idea behind it all. It's pretty simple, man. This way you don't really run out of keybinds. Uh, you just have to be a little thick outside of the box. And there are lots of keybind combinations that you might not think of. Uh, and this gives you a lot of things to availability. Wait, this is kind of like the scuffed keybinding guide. Like I don't want to go into all of the principles of keybinding, like where to put certain like spells and is it important to have a specific order or should you change up your keybinds a lot? There are like tons of these questions that I could answer here right now about like all around of keybinds, but this is not the type of kind of like video where I would want to do this. I would want to rather do that in like a comprehensive. Uh, guide uh, this is like just one of my scuffed guides where i just feel like doing something and i'm just doing it um by the way if you don't know what i'm doing here in game at the moment uh, so i'm just calculating the time it takes for me to fly to specific locations okay so I guess that was all of it as you remember World for 60 or bold. So, do you want me? One second. Do you want me to look like this? Like a like a chat, like this guy, or do you want me to look like this guy, like like this guy? Like what do you want? Like this or this? I want certainly to look like this. I mean, I don't want to have more things in common with Asmogod because I've already have fucked up teeth. So, don't want that to happen. So, with that said, guys, look out for a bunch of content in Shadowlands. Not all of it will be this scuffed. Um, some of it will be that scuffed because that's just who, who I am, right? But um, not all of it will be that scuffed. Um, so I'm preparing a lot of content at the moment. I'm going for World for 60. So if you're interested in it, keep up to date with it, and I might have some interesting news to share with you guys. So see you guys in another video. Take care.